Hi everyone, it's Jake here from First Track Dance and welcome back to my first video of 2019. Happy New Year, I hope you all had a lovely holiday season, although it's time to get back to work now. So I'm going to bring you my five top tips to make you a better PDR tech in the new year ahead. Okay, so let's kick off with tip number one. Investing in good tools. Buy tools that are gonna help you be a better PDR tech. Don't buy tools because you think they're just gonna make you look good. Remember, it's not a fashion show. There's no point in buying a tool for three, 400 pounds or dollars if it's just gonna end up sitting in your toolbox gathering dust. Spend your money wisely. Spend it on the tools that are gonna help you. There's a reason why you pay a little bit more for good quality PDR bars, it's because they're made out of good quality sprung steel. If you buy the cheap stuff, yeah, it may look the same, but as soon as you use it on a job, you'll find that it just bends in seconds. It's just made from mild steel. If you want great advice on tools, there are many PDR techs on here doing great tool reviews. Find the tool that you're interested in, leave a question in their comment section. If they don't have the time to answer, then another PDR tech who's watching probably will. Remember, we don't buy. Working left and right-handed. So if you're right-handed, then try working more with your left hand. And if your strongest hand is your left hand, then try working more with your right hand. This is something I try and do as much as possible. Trying to be ambidextrous will open up much more possibilities to get on the back of many more dents and will increase the amount of jobs you can take on. Sometimes you just can't get your body into the right angle or position to get on the back of a dent. Being able to work effectively with your right arm and your left arm will get you out of a lot of tricky situations, trust me. Always challenge yourself. Now this applies to beginners as well as experienced techs. Now if you're a beginner and you've just mastered the art of removing small dings, then challenge yourself to something a little bit out of your comfort zone. Maybe a sharp crease or maybe a dent that's in a very awkward position like at the top of a door frame or a dent that's behind a pillar section. However, don't make a huge leap from small to extreme as you will only frustrate yourself. And for techs with a few years under their belts, try moving on to some of the more extreme dents, but don't frustrate yourself with dents that are going to be impossible to do. Be reasonable, but let's all keep pushing the boundaries of what PDR can do. Keep learning. Don't ever get complacent thinking you know it all, because you don't, I don't. The industry is evolving all the time. More panels are now made from aluminium, more panels are made from high strength steels, and electric cars are becoming more commonplace on the road, and they need to be approached with caution. So keeping in touch with what's happening in the industry will keep you ahead of the game and make sure that you quickly don't fall behind. Also, learn from your mistakes. There will be many times when you remove a dent and realize that you started it all wrong. Remember and learn from these experiences so next time you'll approach it in a different way and save yourself a lot of time and a lot of cleaning up to do. <music> Lastly, and probably one of the most important points is always have fun. Remember, paint is dent removal is more than a job. It's an art form. Every job is different and nearly every PDR tech will approach a job in a different way to achieve the same result. That's what keeps this job interesting. If you enjoy what you do and have a passion for it, it makes the job much more easier and enjoyable to do. Even after all the years I've been doing this, I still get a massive kick out of seeing the finished result of my work. And remember, be proud of what you do by saving vehicles going into body repair shops. Us PDR techs are doing our bit for the environment by saving tons of toxic paint fumes from entering our atmosphere every day. So just feel proud about that. Okay, I hope you found my top five tips for 2019 useful. On another note, I know you've all been asking me about when am I gonna upload the video on how to make your own LED light board. I am currently working on this as we speak and I hope to get it uploaded this month sometime. So keep an eye out for that. As always, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. But for now, I wish you all the best for the new year ahead and we'll see you on the next video.